everyone, Henry here from Smoky Hills Outdoor Store and I'm here with a pretty cool product, the Lavio Dry Flush Toilet and we've had a lot of people ask us about this because this unit really has revolutionized how people use a portable toilet especially in the fish house industry and that's why I want to kind of go through all the ins and outs of it how to change out the canisters how to use the unit how to dump them uh, how to run power to it and all those great things so let's look at the unit uh, itself first Nate and the Lavio is a self-contained unit it's got everything you need right inside of it so it's great for travel portable travel fishing all those uh, all those things we might need a toilet for and if you look in the back We'll start right here. It's got its own battery, so it's self-contained. It's a standard 12 volt battery, which you can buy at pretty much any hardware store. And you can hardwire this unit as well. So if you're in a fish house, you might want to connect it straight to your 12 volt. You can do that as well. One of the great things about this toilet is that it is made in the United States and it's also veteran owned and operated. I've spoken to the owner of the company before and I have to say he's a great guy and he's doing some pretty amazing things uh, with this unit. So, how does it work? We're going to start right up front. You're going to notice a couple of things. I've got a lid, just like a standard toilet. These are actually pretty heavy duty, I have to say. It's not cheap flimsy plastic like you would get on a lot of units. I've got the seat and then I've got this canister that's kind of hidden in this compartment and we'll get to that in a moment. So let me actually show you how to flush this unit. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just dumping some solid matter in here just to simulate how we would use a real toilet. And uh, I'm going to grab some of my liquid here and I'm going to take the liquid and I'm going to dump some liquid in here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit the button. So what this toilet is doing right now is it's kind of pulling new sections of bag out, twisting the waste at the bottom and then pushing it down, kind of like you would have a diaper genie. So right now, if I stick my hand in here, this is dry, and it's a new section of bag, and it's a really heavy duty bag with all the waste sitting on the bottom. Now we've seen, you know, there's about 15 flushes. Sometimes you have to hit it once, sometimes you hit it twice uh, to get the waste down, but it does work exceptionally well for odor and anything like that. Now you'll know when the bag is getting kind of empty, there will either be a red or a blue line that starts showing on the bag itself. So I've used my bag, it looks like it's getting uh, full, everything's down on the bottom, so I'm going to empty this out. All I'm going to do is I'm going to lift up, lift up the top, and what's really nice about this is this whole thing is going to get thrown away. So it's that simple, I never have to touch anything. I grab this, I grab the plastic bag that I had in the front, and I'm going to grab all of this. Tie this into a knot and this whole thing can go into the trash. So now I have the contained mylar bag with the waste in it in a black bag, very sanitary and this goes into the garbage. Now if I need a new one, all I'm going to do is I can purchase this three pack from Go Ice Fish. Uh, it does actually come with two cartridges right out of the box which is kind of nice. So this three pack of refills and I'm gonna start by it's kinda handy they include everything you need including instructions I'm gonna start start by taking out one of these black bags and I also have an elastic that I can put around the black bag so Nate you wanna come and look in there and I'll show you what we do so I'm gonna open up my black bag put my black bag in here put the black bag around the edges just like that and then I can go ahead and grab one of these nice elastics to keep the black bag down in there. Okay, so now that we have the plastic bag back in and the rubber band around it, you can also take out this inner canister if it, it makes it a little bit easy for you. We're going to take our new canister and I'm going to have this 
uh, kind of this corrugated cardboard piece and just push it down towards the bottom put my canister back on top and put the seat back on and we have a brand new canister there was no mess uh, no waste uh, you can use these for quite a while where you can sort it on the bottom especially if it's cold and this is absolutely the easiest way to do it if you have any questions or comments let us know we love to do these videos we love to show products because just like everybody that watches these we absolutely love to ice fish and uh, we like to hear from you and see you on the ice so uh, any comments let us know we appreciate it